The next question was going to be about the Moon's orbital path and its supposed effect on Earth's oceans. But we are experiencing some technical difficulties. We overloaded the free video editing software. Our excuse is as follows. We'd revisit the Moon in a nanosecond, but unfortunately we've lost the files and it's, it's a painful process to build them back up again. The next few fanboy questions will be very short, but pertinent ones about the moon landings until we get our technical problems fixed. Please bear with us and enjoy the typical nonsensical and ultra complicated fanboy reactions in the comment section. This one is an oldie, but still one of the best evidences that we never went anywhere near the moon, let alone land on it. Many, many people have covered this one in much more detail, but it's still worth another quick look. Here we see the lunar lander sitting in place on the moon's surface. Here's some footage of what happens when you fire up a rocket engine close to the ground. Dust everywhere, and this is Earth dust, not even the ultra-fine moon dust that supposedly covers the surface. So where is the blast crater? Where is all the dust that was kicked up by the descent? That thing should be filthy. Did they fill in the blast crater and then do a bit of housekeeping for the sake of the gullible audience back on Earth? Or did the magical lunar wind blow it all away? Or my personal choice? It was all filmed here on good old terra firma. How do you explain such glaring inconsistencies, fanboys?